Life Audio. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect with your Father in Heaven. No matter what is going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. Right after this short word from our sponsor, we will pray through today's prayer on positivity together. A Prayer for Positivity from Morning to Night, written by Laura Bailey, read by Laura Bailey. I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. Philippians 4, 11, NIV. One of my favorite quotations is from Henry Ford, who famously said, If you think you can or you think you can't, either way, you're right. I remember the first time I saw these words, Waiting outside my high school guidance counselor's office, a poster with this quotation hung on the wall next to a picture of a cat gripping a wedge with the words, hang in there in bold print at the top. At the time, the two posters seemed oddly placed beside each other. Henry Ford believed that how we think about ourselves and our abilities significantly impacts the outcome. He was a man who firmly stood by the belief that success starts with a positive attitude. And by earthly measure, Ford was quite successful. So I agree with his assumption about the power of positivity. 20 years have passed since high school, and with more life experience, I see why the counselor placed those pictures together. While a cheerful disposition is always an asset, it is especially needed when facing challenges or difficulties. It is easy to be happy, to look for the good when things are going well. However, persevering, remaining faithful, and enthusiastic under challenging circumstances are much more difficult. Paul, the writer of Philippians, knew a thing or two about being in less than favorable situations. At the time of his writing to the church of Philippi, Paul was in a Roman prison, uncertain of his fate. Yet still, in the middle of immense persecution and trials, he could find godly contentment. Contentment isn't dependent on our circumstances. As the dictionary defines it, it is a continual state of happiness or satisfaction. It's a mindset. We often think people are naturally born as positive Polly's or negative Nancy's. While we tend to lean one way or the other, contentment takes practice. It is a learned behavior. Every one of us has a choice in how we react to the hard things we face. We receive a less than comforting diagnosis. We come home to find that our spouse lost their job. We get a call that our child got in trouble at school and is being sent home. We hear that our friend said some unkind words about us. Yes. There are so many painful things we will experience in this life. Finding contentment and focusing on the positive doesn't erase the realities of our pain, hurt, and suffering. But when we choose to set our hopes on the Lord to focus on His promises of deliverance and eternal hope, through Christ Jesus, we can experience true contentment in all circumstances when life is easy and hard. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for how you bring blessings to your children. We often neglect to acknowledge all the ways you provide for us, coming to you only when we have a need or desire to relieve our present suffering. But Father, we know that you are the author of creation and that all we have comes from you. Help us start each day with thanksgiving and praise, humbling and surrendering our times, talents, and lives to your will. God, many people are experiencing deep suffering who are in depths of despair, overcome with grief, or just feel hopelessness. We ask that the Holy Spirit bring them comfort and they will feel your presence. Lord, help us be sensitive to those in need and obediently answer the call to help others. We feel the Spirit leading us to action. What a glorious gift you bestow on your children to be co-laborers with you, the hands and feet of Jesus in the world. Help us learn to be content in all circumstances, giving you alone the glory. Help us in our weakness. Help us to put on the mindset of Christ. And Lord, We ask that in all things, you rejoice always. In Jesus' name, amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. 
For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.